Scientists use GPT-4 to decode the human mind with 82% accuracy. In the world of AI, companies should consider hiring an automation engineer. Google is in trouble because ChatGPT just got web browsing access. ChatGPT's new code interpreter is just insane. OpenAI has quietly released a new model for text to 3D. This AI tool allows you to search anything from video. Just see how Midjourney has evolved from version 1 all the way to version 5.1. This AI tool creates effortless product photos. Scientists use GPT-4 to decode the human mind with 82% accuracy. Left is actual stimuli, right is decoded stimuli. The mythology here was to have three human subjects that had 16 hours of their thoughts recorded as they listened to narrative stories. These were then trained with a custom GPT LLM to map their specific brain stimuli to words. The results, the GPT model generated intelligible word sequences from perceived speech, imagined speech, and even silent videos with remarkable accuracy. Perceived speech, where subject listened to a recording, had 72 to 82 percent decoding accuracy. Imagined speech, where subject mentally narrated a one minute story, had a 41 to 72 percent accuracy and silent movies where the subject viewed soundless Pixar movie clips, the accuracy was 21 to 45 percent in decoding the subject's interpretation of the movie. The implications from the actual scientist acknowledge two things. That is, future decoders could overcome these limitations and bad decoded results could still be used nefariously much like inaccurate lie detector exams have been used in the past. Imagine the level of gaslighting. In the world of AI, companies should consider hiring an automation engineer. Their job would be use AI to speed up company workflows. It, for example, write reusable prompts, make custom chat GPT plugins, create AI agents for company processes, and build AI extensions. Massive productivity gains to be had. If you have a team of 10 and hire an awesome automation engineer, if they can create a 10% productivity gain for the team with AI, you basically break even. And if they're any good, they can do much, much better than 10%. You guys have already heard a lot about the position called prompt engineer. Now, OpenAI has told us that prompt engineering is not going to be a job for the future because AI will be able to figure out what you need. Every trend is pointing that way as well. AI systems today are 20 times easier to use than even four months ago. So it might even be true that the automation engineers will get replaced by AI. Google is in trouble because ChatGPT just got web browsing access. Roll One Chung did some experiments and here are the craziest ones. First, it can now summarize all the latest news and cite its sources. It also summarized his most recent newsletter and gave him all the links to the top tools that he mentioned. It told him the top trending posts on a particular subreddit, analyzing the code for Twitter's open sourced algorithm, finding hidden gems in places you want to travel to, finding product reviews for you, recap of the top performing stocks, and create an essay and cite sources. ChatGPT is improving faster than ever, but don't worry, it still starts every sentence with as an AI, I. ChatGPT's new code interpreter is just insane. First off, it can analyze your Spotify music taste. GPD showed me how to export from the Spotify API, ran multidimensional PCA and TSNE analysis, and summarized my taste for me. As you can see with these crazy graphs, even a text summary of user enjoys a diverse range of music. Number two, you can now upload and download files to ChatGPT. So you can, for example, extract colors from an image to create a palette 
and automatically compress large images when running out of memory. Number three, you can now do basic video editing in ChatGPT itself. This guy asked it to turn a GIF into a zoom in video and it just did it for him and he could just download an MP4 file. Number four, this guy asked it to do falling green matrix letters in a GIF and it just made it for him. As you can see on the right, letters, numbers, just falling down. OpenAI has quietly released a new model for text to 3D. It's called Shat E and it's a computer program that makes 3D shapes with a lot of details and colors. It works in two stages. First, it learns how to turn 3D shapes into a set of rules that describe them. Then, it uses those rules to make new shape that look similar but are different. You can see that it creates a fully rotating 3D model just from a simple text prompt. And the funniest ones are definitely the avocado chair and banana airplane. Now we are probably about one to two months away from seeing a text to 3D printers or text to objects. This AI tool allows you to search anything from videos. Look, you can search for people, action sequences, objects, and on-screen text. As you can see, you can just put a input prompt and it will search through videos on the internet to find what you're looking for. You can see with a simple make a feather fly with magic, you can pull that same exact scene from Harry Potter without having to go through the actual footage yourself. Imagine when you're talking to your friends about a TV show or movie and you can't remember that exact name, you can just type the explanation of a particular scene and AI finds it for you. It's available right now on 12labs.io and for now, it's completely free to use. Just see how Midjourney has evolved from version 1 all the way to version 5.1. Look, you can see the three first versions actually look inhuman with number two actually having eyes on different heights and it's very blurry to see. And V2 was released in April 12, 2020, which is about a year ago now. Now, you can see for version four and five, they actually look pretty decent and version 5.1 just taking it off the charts. Just look how insanely realistic it looks. We would never assume that we would be this far. Now that we almost perfected images, what is going to happen with text to video? And what would Midjourney version 10 even look like? This AI tool creates effortless product photos. If you had an assistant that could help you create unique photos of your brand in a few minutes, would that make your life easier? These are some examples that were created on Casper. Let me show you how it's done. First, go on to the Casper AI editor. There are four tabs, a background remover, a product photo generator, stock photo generator, and image editor. The first thing to do is upload a clear, well-lit photo of your product. Just drag and drop and remove the background, then send to product photo generator. If you have one with a transparent background, then you can upload it straight to the product photo generator tab. In the prompt box, describe in detail what you want to see. The setting, the background, the color, the lighting. You could have it wherever you want it to be. Once you're happy with the prompt, click generate. Don't worry if it doesn't turn out perfect or if it takes a few tries. The next step will help us edit it more. Feel free to play around with the prompt inputs along with features in the advanced settings and generate different images. When you find one that you like, you can either save it or send it to the image editor. On the photo editor tab, you can edit a photo that you just generated or the photo in its original form. Once in the editor, use your mouse to paint over the photo on the parts you want to change or perfect. Here you can write some more prompts, for example if you want a person to be added in the background or an object. If you like the photo but want to edit something small, send it back to the editor and paint over the thing you want to change. Repeat this as many times as you like. As the AI continues to train over time, the tech is getting better by the day. It looks good. And voila, save the photo and repeat. It's that easy. Now you're ahead of the game with Casper, the AI powered photo assistant editor at your disposal. Lots more cool things happening in AI. Just continue watching by clicking this video and I'll see you there. Peace.